Hi. Sadly, God has gifted me yet another day of life, and I'm going to make that your problem. Excuse me, do you have time to talk about the longevity of the Chinese? As the impending doom of people who know nothing about us keep rubbing one out on the nuclear launch buttons, and it's only a matter of time before these said people drop enough loads to cause the buttons to finally click down. And when it does, what will you be doing in the aftermath? Kenshi asks that question, and if the answer is nothing good, you'd be correct. You see, I played through this game a few times, and I can tell you without a shadow of doubt, you will either start the game, make a character, and immediately get robbed, beaten, sodomized, and possibly treat. Fuck. <coughs> that was good too. And possibly trafficked to the Syrians, or you will do what I do and make a character who is adept in stealing things three rooms over from people as people have this magical ability to telepathically communicate with their personal belongings and items in their shops. Stop right there, criminal scum! It is very stressful to make a thief as stealing things is somewhat of a workplace occupational safety hazard. Kenshi is a game that demands you save scum if you want to have any remote chance of survival. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. To gain the truest Kenshi survival ability, rendering you the second coming of Ninja Jesus is kicking the shit out of crippled homeless people. But now, my fourth playthrough, I plan on reaching for the stars. Mind you, I did use a few mods for this run, nothing too intensive, but a little clothing mod to add new gear, a bigger interactions and squad mod, and a mod to make building a smidge easier. Look, it's like huffing paint. Oh my fucking god, yo! It's fun the first couple times, but when you start to get nosebleeds and paint that smells like fish, you sooner or later upgrade to a marker. My fourth playthrough, I wanted to be an abolitionist, not because of I wanted to free the slaves and have a good moral standing, it's because I wanted to raise a fucking army of dummy mommies, carjackers, and the mentally unhinged, as a petty thief could only defend himself with the excessive usage of micros and beating disabled veterans. Debatably, this game is just bum fights after we nuked ourselves into the fucking crusades. My favorite time to be in, by the way, as my favorite crimes to commit are less punishable under law and order, because God is the one giving me the commands. So now, when I follow orders, it's divine right. And we all know that fucking vermin to the west had it coming. <laughs> We then journeyed to a place far more accepting of our racial pseudo-political diversity, a crack in a bandit zone, because I like when my neighbors are honest about wanting to steal all of my shit. About two weeks in, the cruelest, darkest reality check had knocked at my doors. Taxes. Apparently, being outside the limits of the empire, they still insist and feel a need to visit and demand $3,000 was essential to the prosperous economy of the empire. Little did they know, I didn't intend on stealing from them. Till they fucking did that. I like to see it as a tax refund of sorts. How does one acquire their empire tax refund? Easy. Go to the nearest empire town with stolen shit from the holy nation, the bums you've kicked the shit out of, or perhaps, if you get good at it, fencing, also the same shit they just had in their chest upstairs, and selling that off in town until you get majority of your money back. But carnage, that's just us trading. <laughs> well, that's because, you see, bring a group of your most trusted friends with you. Beak ain't no bitch. He's stealing your speakers and leaving the music running. He'll steal your shoes while you're still wearing them. Anyways, have your thief go to a location in each merchant. Get ready to save scum and steal resources that are valuable elsewhere or valuable towards the construction of your village. Have your buddy wander over to the dark corner of the room, or if you're like me and get good at it, the corner that's well lit in the room and pass him the shit into their bags. 
Use them like a pack mule. And like that, wham, bam, Afghanistan, your tax refund. The empire is truly a reasonable government power with absolutely no flaws that I won't be aiming to commit domestic terrorism on soon. All of this as, sadly, tax evasion would mean high treason in the state and my people would have to flee like the gypsies. Or worse, lock me up like a famous black actor we don't like to refer to as the first real black superhero in movies. So, after all of this, I incorporated more followers into my ranks, one of which was a small child. Not good for labor due to their small hands, frame, and strangely foldable body, but I knew where her destiny lied. Being my next thievery weasel, and because her gender, there will be no fear in having her steal from the Catholic Church, as thankfully, show no attractions to women. Young boys, though. We gotta be careful leaving them around. Sixteen paranoia filled days later. Ah, oh, good, you're back. You see, you were getting pretty nauseous there, so I let you lie down on one of our nearest dust mats we had lying around. We finally finished our town's walls and endured three separate fucking invasions and a skirmish. Thankfully, it has motivated us to get into selling shoes off of the dead, along with the copper from our veins. Sadly, one of our thieves lost a leg. But thankfully, this means our labor has no reason to stop now, as he's gonna have a lot of free time stuck at base until I can find him a prosthetic leg. As sadly, I believe giving him a wheelchair will lead to him getting an entire rap career off of false pretenses. But sadly, our lovely paradise of stealing copper and Nikes like heroin addicts on their daily quest routines has been ratted out to the bureaucracy of the fucking traders guild they showed up and attempted to impose their radical leftist agenda of more taxes which they received a formal and peaceful if you don't fuck off my property i'll gouge out your eyes and steal your fucking reeboks he got a little butt hurt and fucked off i'm certain this will have no negative ramifications in the future but now the dawn is rising and my patience the local powers have set. I seek to cause a new political power vacuum. I first craft trade routes and thievery routes along both powerful nations. I then use opportunity to release their less desirables onto the streets. Step one, financial and social victory must be acquired to pose as the good guys in the eyes of the peasant masses. But first... A merchant had accused me of thievery, which is funny, because I'm finna to show him what a real thief looks like. Sadly, from here, none of my plans uh, were to align as being under constant siege at our base motivates a complete turn of events. After a few occasions of local gangs being more affluent shit tickets than the local bandits ever could be, I've found my first generation of targets to impose democracy onto. So after a trip all the fuck the way over to Rebirth, <coughs> just to only get two assholes who didn't even want to be saved, we ran over to Flatworm as dicking around that deep isn't exactly the best idea, then to meet the Flatworm Ninjas, who mysteriously are onto a similar philosophy as we are, just less political overturn and more care for the people not exactly but i like to think that's what they were about but after her wise speech about her territory i have concluded that now would be an amazing time to begin to move town and just in time because the fucking proud boys invaded so on top of the already existing threat of antifa and drug addicts i decided to move out of oregon and into detroit we took our new recruit and large numbers and sold off all of our pointless shit as this pilgrimage will be brutal and require only our necessary equipment. Many months later. We upgraded from two dirt shacks and a house to two houses, but as a means of good moral karma for my inner sea wolf that I sexually identify as on the weekdays specifically at work, I chose to steal one item and give them back. 
my utter garbage. As sort of a farewell gift, a till next time delivery, it's like herpes, but less money, less sadness, but more attentive to how many checks are in your store. But that's not my problem. Hello, MTV, and welcome to my cribs, where the locals fucking hate us and all of our luxuries. In fact, hate us so much that they actually launched a huge scale multi day battle, and that shit was pretty grisly having three armies get involved and a pack of pirates, but now giving me insights onto a, a new enemy. A good reason for a new form of war. It's like 9-11. And after this war onto the factions that wronged me, dubbing ourselves the North Coast Crazies because I felt an inner 11-year-old edgy just given away in the inside of me. And off note, I had a fence deny me smuggled goods and I present to you my 13th reason why. Also, we've come up with the best type of test dummy. Non-consensual gang initiation ring beatings of an unarmed target. It's practice. Life training. How else am I supposed to strengthen my glutes? But at this point, times were rough and we needed more. So, we did the most logical thing. We became slavers, but don't worry, we make sure we apply the most civil standard- I just stick them naked in a cage in a shed on the side of my base till the cages fill up. Then we take them all as a big shipment. I feel like the Chinese of slaving. Why get one badass when you can have four ninja women, two starved guys we found on the way in, right? Bang for your buck, young grasshopper. Well, well, well. How the turntables... Look, we aren't proud of it either. You see, I could have told you how good the game is, or what there is to do, or at least have a good moral end. But instead, I told you a story, because that's what this game is. Uh, this whole video for you is like, what, 20 minutes max? Uh, for me, this video is about two weeks of hardcore gaming. But hey, the game is about the story of the player, and that's exactly the type of game I survived for. This being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. No. I will be uh, reattempting to upload the BitChute again, uh, along with YouTube, just because I like the diversity of my audience. But I advise definitely subscribing to my YouTube. Uh, I thank you, and we'll be launching uh, another introduction your way soon. Till next time, my brothers. <laughs>